What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. Shout out to the LDBC YTBC. We working one time for the one time. And I seen, you know, on a thread that um, you know, and just in general, you know, around YouTube, you know, LDBC, YTBC, um, social media in general, you know, people act like, you know, Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford is just kings of the welterweight division. And in Crawford's case, he ain't even, you know, threw a punch in the welterweight division yet. So, um, you can't put him in that class. And I feel you can't put Earl Spence in um the the position of number one with his only fight, you know, only true fight being against Kell Brook. You know. Um, you know, like it or not, Keith Thurman paid his dues at one forty seven. Um his opening fight with HBO was supposed to get be against Marcos Madonna. He pulled out. Um he fought, you know, you know, a lot of guys, man. Um you know, he paid his dues, you know, for a, D- a tough Diego Chavez, um, for Guerrero before he was, you know, before he was really was shot real bad. Um, you know, he did his thing at the what the weight division. He earned he earned his keep, you know, Porter, Garcia back to back. Um and I know he ain't been the most active guy out there, but um you know, he here. And um, you know, to put these guys above him um, just, you know, just put, I'm not saying that they can't beat him. I'm just saying to, to say that anybody else is number one at the welterweight division. I think it's, you know, I think it's stupid. You know, this dude got two belts. He fought the better competition between the two. The only person that welterweight that's still active, that has a better resume than Keith Thurman is Danny Swift Garcia. And most of that was done where well, the majority of it was done at 140 pounds. So, um, you know, you know, a lot of people want to overlook Keith Thurman, and you can do that. You know, they act like there's no way that Keith Thurman can beat, you know, Earl Spence or or Terrence Crawford. And, you know, part of that is Keith Thurman's fault. Well, not his fault. It was just, you know, ish happens. You know, with the car accident and the elbow injury and these different injuries, most people forget how good Keith Thurman really is. And he has changed his approach a little bit. He's more versatile um, then Earl Spence and just as versatile as Terrence Crawford. I think he might be a little bit more versatile than Terrence Crawford. It's about the same, to be honest. Um, you know, only thing that probably sets Crawford apart is that he switch hits, you know, and Keith don't switch, switch hit, I don't believe. But, um, you know, Keith, you know, Keith got, you know, fast hands, fast feet, power in both hands, a good jab, a good high IQ. And I see people saying there's no way that they could beat Earl Spence. Now, if he stretches Earl Spence, then uh, a lot of people are going to be looking stupid and coming up with those same excuses that uh, other fans came up with, with Kovalev and with, you know, the Triple G rematch and these di- and these different fights that go on that people can't believe the, the guy the, the guy that won, you know, wasn't supposed to win, you know. So you've seen it with Danny and Lucas Matisse. You see it quite often in boxing, and I think if if Keith is is, is Errol Spence every fought fought and Keith beats Earl Spence, um, you're gonna hear a lot of those excuses as well. Oh, Keith, Keith hell, you know Keith, you know drugged the fight out, and if it happened back in 2017, Earl Spence would have uh, would have won. Keith was running scared. Keith ran the whole fight, and I'm come on, man. You know it's it's a good possibility that Keith Thurman could beat both of these guys. He's physically bigger and stronger and faster than Terrence Crawford. Um, I think St- Crawford, you know, it'll be a close fight. You know, I think Crawford switch hitting is going to be the difference, in my opinion. Um, his and I, I, I just, I just I think he's tough juice, man. You know, I think he's tough. Um, you know, like I said, I would favor Earl because Earl has been a more um, active fighter for the most part. Kinda, it's very close between activity between McKeith. Um his body punching. May be the difference, but the thing about thing about Earl Spence is, you know, can he get inside of Keith Thurman punches? And if he's able to cut the ring off and get inside of Keith Thurman punches and work the body, most people feel that he a stretch uh, Keith Thurman. But it, it would be difficult because Keith Thurman punches harder than Kell Brook, and he, I think he's a better boxer than Kell Brook, and he brings a lot more speed. You know, but we see Keith Thurman is a notorious front runner, and uh. Terrence and Earl, but Earl in particular, is a workhorse. He gets stronger as the fight goes on. And most people tend to believe that, you know, Earl Spence will just, you know, knock Keith Thurman's dick in the dirt later, later in that fight. 
and I'm probably one of those guys that side with that, but I'm not as naive to believe that Keith Thurman don't have a chance versus any, any guy in the welterweight division. It would not shock me if Keith Thurman beat all comers in the welterweight division. It wouldn't shock me if he knocked out Earl Spence. It wouldn't shock me if he knocked out Terrence Crawford. That's a very real outcome, you know. A lot of people act like it can't happen. Oh, no, it can't happen. Because you haven't been seeing Keith Thurman, and you forget how good Keith Thurman really is. Now, Keith Thurman's style has switched as he's got those belts and got that little fortune and fame now. He's more of a mover. He's not as aggressive. I think the aggressive Keith Thurman had to come back. The Keith Thurman that fought Danny Garcia early on, that's the Keith Thurman that he should, should be. Um, you know, that's the Keith Thurman that he should be. And if he's that guy that, that plants his feet, and is able to uh, press the action more often, and mix in some boxing, boxing moving. I think I think he I think he could beat everybody, man. But if he's going back to that moving around and hitting on the run and, and dancing around the ring, that's playing into Earl Spence's hands, man. You know, um, and keep th- and Terrence Crawford. That's playing into his hands. You let Terrence Crawford. He's very versatile, like I said. Come downhill, he'll hurt you. So, um, but he's still number one in my opinion. Let me know what y'all think.